today we are speaking with Jerry Mills. He is the founder and CEO of B2B Exit and B2B CFO. He has also recently released a book called The Exit Strategy Handbook. Jerry, can you please give us a brief introduction and maybe tell us what drew you to the space? Yes, yeah, so well first let me tell you just briefly about myself. I started my career with Arthur Anderson. I was a manager. I saw this void in, in the space and uh, I actually started this business in 1987. We now have professionals in my company in 45 states around, around, uh, around the country, so here we are. And Jerry, you are an expert on businesses exiting. What is the most important thing that a business owner should do to successfully exit the company? Well, my experience in over a quarter of a century is that most business owners don't understand that it's harder to sell a business than it is to build it. They're really good at building it but they haven't had the experience of selling it. And when they decide to sell it, uh, they typically don't know the right price, and they don't know the process. And then, and so what we try to do is teach them the process, because if they, if they take their eyes off of running their company, typically sales, and also the value of the company, EBITDA, or whatever the value is, goes down. And so what we, what we, what we find is they, they're just really good at building businesses, they don't know how to sell them properly. Sure. And that's what we help with. Great. And when you're working on advising a company that is planning an exit, do you do all of the work yourself? Do you bring a team in to work with you? No, we don't do the work ourselves. Uh, <clears throat> we advise the business owner against that. That's one of the hallmarks of the Exit Strategy Handbook and also the software that we've written uh, for this process. We feel the, the business owner needs a team. Uh, the business owner needs to be in charge. Uh, and that's why with our uh, software, with the book, they can look at their the process every day if they want to, to see where it is. But we want we want a team, we call it the success team. We want you typically an M&A firm or investment banker, we want an attorney that the owner trusts, we want uh, tax CPAs so they can calculate the after-tax money, we want certified valuation appraisals and, and so forth. And, you, and usually we recommend there's about eight to ten people on that team that are working in congruence with the business owner and, and helping support them. So no, the, uh, we, we uh, believe in the team concept because there's, there's so many good professionals and they need to use their skill set to help further the, the goals of the business owner. And how do you select those team members? Well, um, business owners are interesting. They, they typically have some people that they already know, maybe an attorney, maybe a CPA for the taxes or audit. Uh, and so they have relationships and typically they like keeping those relationships and but if they don't have other relationships for example an M&A firm an investment banker or if they need some other advisors um, well we've been uh, doing that we have been doing this for a long time we just have those relationships we typically uh, when we when we introduce the uh, somebody a professional to the uh, business owner, we ask them to interview two or three different people because the personality has to fit as well as the skill set. They have sure. to get along, and, and not only with the business owner but with the team. So we make recommendations, and uh, and then hopefully by going through that process, we can build a cohesive team, and simultaneously we can let the business owner keep doing what he or she is doing, get out of the process, and just go build a company and the value of the company. Sure. And Jerry, I have one last question. Can you tell us about a unique situation that you've worked on advising a company? Oh, there's been there have been so so many. Uh, we we had uh, one in our firm uh, recently where um, uh, we were going through this process, and uh, the uh, it was a female-owned business, very successful, and um, and she was married, and she passed away suddenly, and so her. Her husband then was given the, the role to step in her shoes to go through this exit strategy process. And, and he, uh, fortunately, we think, inherited the values that his wife had. She, she, wanted, she didn't take the top bid. She went with a lower bid because the lower bid was actually, had the values of taking care of her employees. And so, you know, you, you, never, you never know when you're working in a situation. Uh, and uh, what we want to do is, is uh, work together with our professionals and the team to carry out uh, the goals and, and wishes of the business owners. So that's a unique situation, but overall it, it may not be that unique. Though. Sure. Jerry, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us today. Well, thank you.